Now, uh, so we can see that the pH changes uh, no matter whether you have a buffer or not. But what I'm trying to convince you is that having a buffer is much better, has much smaller changes in pH than not having a buffer. So let's pretend that we're going to compare the buffering ability of an actual buffer, which is the same one we've been talking about, which is this um, uh, 250 milliliters of a buffer made from acetic acid and sodium acetate. And we're going to add 10.0 milliliters of 0 0.100 molar sodium hydroxide to it. And when we do that, we've already seen that uh, in this uh, previous part of the lecture, that pH of this buffer will go from, so pH 4.74 before to pH equals 4.77 after. So there is a change, but that change is small, small in terms of pH. Now we're gonna do the same type of experiment, except we're gonna start with water with a pH of 4.74. And uh, with a pH of 4.74, we know whoop, that the concentration of hydronium is 10 to the minus pH. And this is a, an equation from uh, first semester general chemistry. So 4.74 minus, and then exponentiate, and I get uh, 1.82 times 10 to the minus fifth molar, which means since concentration of hydroxide equals 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14, that's Kw, over 1.82, my concentration of hydronium, 10 to the minus five, that my concentration of uh, hydroxide is 5.6 times 10 to the minus 10 molar hydroxide. And again, this is uh, before, and now we're gonna add, um, the 10 milliliters of 0 0.100 molar sodium hydroxide. Which is also just hydroxide. My new concentration is, well, I have moles here. So my moles are going to be 0 0.00100 plus um, some moles from my before, um, which will be essentially zero. And now I'm gonna have a total solution volume of, I had 250 and I added 10, so that's gonna be 260. Two, six, zero liters. And plus, uh, when I say plus there, it's gonna be, plus something related to this concentration, which will be very small. And I get 0 0.001 divided by 0 0.26. I get 0 0.00385. And so you can already see that my concentration of hydroxide is going from 10 to the minus 10 to 10 to the minus three something. And if I do this, I can go ahead and log it to find my pOH. And that's gonna be 2.41. And my pH will be 11.59. So, uh, if we did not have a buffer in water and we added 10 milliliters of 0 0.100 molar sodium hydroxide, the pH would go to 11.59. With the buffer, it only goes to 4.77. So that's a demonstration that the pH of a buffer is, the change is much smaller than if the buffer was not present.